What's up guys, we're going to be taking a look at this lab, two-factor authentication, simple bypass. Two-factor authentication is when there is a second step to the authentication process. So for example, we might have a username and password, but after we've input the correct password, we're then asked for a two-factor authentication code that could be sent via email or perhaps a text message or perhaps through some type of authentication code app. The idea behind two-factor authentication is that even if someone does figure out our password, they still won't be able to access our account without the two-factor authentication code. In this particular vulnerable lab, the two-factor authentication is completely bypassable. Let's take a look. Now we're given two sets of credentials. We're given credentials for our own account, which is Wiener Password Peter. Let's take a look at how the flow of this should work. We choose login. We're then told, please enter your four digit security code. So this is two factor authentication. We then have a mock email client within the lab. Let's take a look at our emails, get an email. Your security code is 1506. We enter 1506, we choose login. And notice at the top of the page that we are redirected to forward slash my hyphen account. So this is the account page of Wiener. This is our account, so we're here legitimately. Now let's have a look at the victim's account. So we've logged out, let's go back to my account. The victim's username is Carlos and the password is Montoya. Let's choose login. So we know the victim's password, but we're not able to access the victim's account because we're not aware of the four digit security code. And if we just enter a code at random, hoping to guess and choose login, we get the message incorrect security code then we're kicked back to the login screen, back to square one. Okay, let's type in the victim's username and password a second time. Let's choose login. And if you remember what happened previously when we entered the correct two-factor authentication code, we were then redirected to the forward slash my hyphen account route. Now in an ideal world, we wouldn't be able to access that right now simply because we don't know the two-factor authentication code. But if we click enter, we get taken straight to Carlos's account and we get the flag, congratulations, you solved the lab. So what just happened there? Let's log in one more time, Carlos Montoya. Now what happens behind the scene is that the user has a session which becomes authenticated. When should that session become authenticated? It should become authenticated after we provided the two-factor authentication code. What's happened here on the back end? we're now authenticated as this particular user. And if we don't enter the two-factor authentication code, then our session gets downgraded to that of a non-authenticated user. We get kicked back out to the login screen. But the point is, if we're already authenticated, we don't need to do anything further at this stage. We simply need to avoid entering any value into the two-factor authentication box here, because if we get it wrong, our session will be downgraded to that of a non-authenticated user. By simply doing nothing, we can bypass this request for the two-factor authentication code. So just to reiterate, the way that this should work is that we should not be granted authenticated user status until we provided the four-digit security code here. Whereas what the app has done, it's authenticated us, and then it's asking us, by the way, let's just confirm that you actually have access to the four-digit security code. We can simply say, actually, I don't feel like providing that. You've already given me an authenticated session. We can completely bypass that. So really this particular vulnerability has arisen as a result of faulty backend logic. We shouldn't be granted status as an authenticated user until we provided that four digit two factor authentication security code. All right, that's pretty much it for this lab. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next lab.